Good morning. Today we're saying goodbye to Cambodia for good and heading off to Ho Chi Minh City in Vietnam. Here we are in Ho Chi Minh City. We're about to uh, go up to our Airbnb apartment. So we'll do a quick tour of that. And then we'll head out into the city and see what it's like. Feels like we've hit a gold mine with this place and we've not even seen inside the apartment yet. This is very, very exciting. This is a rather nice place. So yesterday we went to the Vietnam War Museum, uh, learned a bit about the Vietnam War. I'm honestly not a massive fan of museums. Like, it was very interesting seeing the photographs and things, but one of the museums that I really enjoyed was the Cambodia Genocide Museum, because the audio guide was so good. It, like, told a story, it told you to walk in different places. It would say stuff like, right, here you are outside the courtyard, now walk through this place, now walk through that place, and it was a walkthrough through everything. Whereas with most other museums I've been to, it's been more of a self-directed learning type thing, which I, <laughs> I realize I'm not really a fan of when it comes to, when it comes to learning about history and, and things like that. Today we're gonna to be visiting the tunnels. I think the tunnels were part of the Vietnam War, but not entirely sure. We've got a guide who'll explain everything. So, hopefully that should be good. Now I'm going to join Martha for coffee at a local coffee shop, which I can't seem to find. The question is, how do we cross the road now? Well, at least we made it alive. This is pretty cool. Yeah, so back onto this point about museums. I do kind of feel I'm missing something when I visit museums and I'm not like overly enthralled by them. Maybe it's just like a, a lack of intellectual curiosity, I don't know. Surely lots of people feel that when they, when they visit museums that they like should be interested in it, but they're not really. And they were just quite like a nice coherent story. Like if I was learning about the Vietnam War, watching a Vox Media video or watching a Crash Course World History video explaining the Vietnam War would be really interesting because they tell the story, whereas with museums often the onus is on us to kind of find the story and yeah, like I said, I'm not really a massive fan of that. Would much rather the work be done for me, someone curate a kind of journey. Ah, coffee. Thank you very much. This is the latte and this is the sugar syrup that comes with it. I think I just got stood up by Ben's girlfriend. She was supposed to meet me here and turns out she went to the cafe next door to our hotel instead, which means she didn't have to uh, cross the road. Lucky her. Oh well, I'm gonna enjoy this lovely latte and see you on the other side. Right, on our way to the taxi, which is gonna very kindly take us to the tunnels. We're about halfway along our journey to the caves, and we stopped off at this workshop that's run by people who were victims of Agent Orange, the chemical weapon that the Americans used in the Vietnam War about 40 years ago. It's like this workshop thing whereby it's all handcrafted goods made by people who were either there at the time and therefore fell victim to the effect of Agent Orange, or who were their genetic offspring and therefore had their own, had their own defects. 50% of all profits made by the shop are given to the victims of Agent Orange Fund and it's some pretty incredible stuff they've got. Alright, we're going into the tunnel now. Holding the camera is going to be fun. Yeah. Oh. oh my god. <laughs> the tunnel is pretty small. And apparently 
apparently they've widened it by like forty percent for tourists. So we've just finished our tour of the Viet Cong and North Vietnamese Army tunnels uh, and it was really nice having a guide who showed us around and told us the story of what went on. What was particularly interesting, for me anyway, was that it was almost a sense of national pride with which our guide was, was explaining things, like uh, referring to the Vietnamese Army as we, saying stuff like, oh, so the Americans would walk past this bridge and then we'd jump out of the ground and shoot them in the head. Um, kind of with a sense of glee uh, almost and ex kind of explaining the booby traps and, and everything um, that the American soldiers fell for with a real sense of pride and that was interesting because obviously the Americans clearly lost the Vietnam War and now Vietnam has a sort of communist regime and as they say history is a story told by by the victors and I suppose that people in Vietnam people who go to school in Vietnam people who are brought up in Vietnam very much view the war as American aggression against the Vietnamese and feel proud of the fact that they won it which is which is interesting because normally you know it's, it's the Americans who win it's it's the West that wins uh, so that was that, that, that was really nice anytime we learn about the world wars or anything like that it's always even though we try to be as unbiased as possible in it and see and see, and see different points of view it's still very much a, an us versus them type conflict and obviously being in the UK we get it from the side of the Allies uh, rather than the side of Germany. So that's why it was particularly interesting to get the other perspective, get it from the side of the victors who weren't to the West. I'd really quite like to learn more about the Vietnam War. Uh, I feel almost, almost positive that Crash Course World History will have some kind of episode on it. Hopefully the Hardcore History podcast might have some as well because it was such a big element of American history and of course Vietnam history as well and it's relatively recent times uh, so yeah that was quite a fun trip to see the tunnels and understand a bit about how they were used in the Vietnam War we've got the rest of the day and most of tomorrow to explore Ho Chi Minh City and I think we might go to one of the IMAX cinemas to watch Dunkirk tonight so that should be fun but thank you very much for watching please drop a like if you like the video please consider subscribing if you're new here and I'll see you in the next one bye